Hi guys, welcome back to TJM The Jagman. Every week we'll be pumping out videos either on my restoration projects or anything Jaggy related. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so. It, it helps the channel a real lot. And this week, we I've been up here since Sunday and we started to work on that old girl Sunday afternoon and then I had a call from old mate saying, why aren't you down in the club? It's pumping. So I dropped tools and went down the club and had a bit of a couple of beers down there. That was good. And then didn't feel like doing anything when I got back. And then we had friends come up Monday, Tuesday, so we didn't work on the old girls then. So I've only got half a day to work on this beastie. I want to get those old carburetors off the car, have a look at them and whack those uh, Recode HD8s I've got on there and see if we get it started. So let's do it, shall we? Well, two days, four hours and 35 minutes later, we've got one Akabi off. You ought to try getting these big monsters under those little bolts there, mate. It's almost impossible. Anyway, we'll have a look at this one. Eek. Yeah, no, I'm never going to let fuel get through past that jet. Crap in there. So they had to be pulled down. Maybe you might put it back on. I'll have a look. I'll pull that diaphragm out. What really bugs me with these old jags is that all these bolts nuts and U and F when you can't get to them and they've been spare for 30 40 years you've got to do every little spanner movement and the spanner doesn't always fit in there properly and it can take up to 15 minutes to get rid of one bolt rather annoying they're always a little bit over engineered But we'll work on it. peek peek at the base of this one yeah. oh. it's stuck on there it's got crap in it but this one actually is not jammed where the other one is jammed in tight and I haven't even tried to pull that out yet so that's stuck within the 
the Venturi, whatever it's called. That's interesting, okay? We'll put that back together, we'll clean that out later, and let's see if we can get these ones on. <laughs> I reckon we would have got this carburetor to fire up if we just cleaned out the, uh, the AED a bit and got a bit more fuel into it. But that the other one, this one here, she's not she wouldn't have done it so we're wise to take those carbies off i'm sure look i've just got that carburetor off i haven't even cleaned these but i was told when i bought them off old mate a few you know, a couple of years ago that they were um fully reconditioned by berlin and that wouldn't have been a cheap exercise and you can tell that's the case because none of these screws they're all brand new never been taken off so and I took the bowls off there, they're clean, and they, I haven't been underneath that diaphragmy bit yet, but um, we'll whack them on, and just see how we go. So let's get that going. And another thing, while I've got those carbies off, I'm just looking at those. Oh, I'll get that camera off there. Can't see it. Get off there. Those Welsh plugs, they're all brassies. So I'm thinking, even though this was 20 years ago, something this engine was reconditioned, it probably has been, and I think I've got the receipts to say it has, but we know that they're not going to blow out. They're all looking good. Yeah, so firstly I want to just clean all these threads up so I can hand screw those tight before we get the 716s on it and not have to use that 716 every second unscrewing them like we did trying to get them off. So I've got all the carbies bolted to the manifold. So I've just got to get all the extras hooked up to it now. Man, that was hard. This little one down under there. You needed smokes and mirrors to even get to it. And we eventually got it tight. Oh, you can't even see it down there. That one, there it is. Yep, somewhere there. They're all on, but I took off eight bolts and eight springs, but for some reason we've lost the spring so we'll have to work on that we'll do that and hook these little ancillaries up here might even whiz this little breather pipe off and give it a bit of a silver frost might look good and then uh, hook up the choke uh, get a new fuel line down there that one's a bit crook what else we got to do there i'll tighten up those bowls and get the fuel rail in too. So let's get stuck into that. I'm also supposed to wondering that you blokes were thinking that maybe I should have given that inlet manifold a bit of a polish up with some aluminium polish to get it looking shiny before those carbies went on, but that didn't happen. This has been bugging me since the day I bought it. I hate looking at it. Kindergarten scissors. But it's doing a job. It's probably asbestos. <laughs> I'm a little bit, I'm slight. I feel like I'm cutting a bandage off a broken arm. Come on, you can do it. Oh, it goes all that way. That's not going to look any good, is it? That's even looking worse. Come on. Uh, I've just let all the air out of the air conditioning. I'm in trouble. Better turn this one off before anyone sees it. Let's get it all off, shall we? I don't like the look at that stuff there. I know it's there to keep this pipe cool, but it's shitty looking. Yeah, I can't get that off. Oh, here we can. Here we can, here we can. Ah! Oh. Yeah, just shove that fucking bit off. Oops, shove that back on there. Clean it with a good tapey bit off. Just get a tape there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Brand new. Look at that. Doesn't that look so much better? I'll just take a bit of tape off. Alright, 
Can squeeze it. Too much nicer. All right, oh, I've got everything connected up to it. We've got, I uh, had to put a new little fuel line on there. We've got the choke connected up to it. I don't know if that works. Uh, we're just going to check for leaks. So I'll turn on the ignition. Pump's pumping. It's leaking a little bit from that AED again. And she was overflowing from that the carburetor. I think that the uh, needle must have been a bit sticky. I think that can be tightened up just a bit on that uh, inlet flange there. Just a little bit, not too tight, just a little bit. Yeah, that wasn't not tight enough. That bit better. Yep. No leaks. Okay. Well, here goes. Here goes nothing. Let's crank her. Well, oh, to start, I might just open the garage door and get my fire extinguisher out in case there's going to be a fire. Fire extinguisher ready. Door open. <laughs> I'm nervous. No fuel yet. Let's see what's going on here. It's got to go juice in there. from that carby. Let's go. There he goes. Show the thunder up. <laughs> nothing. 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 Now again. Nah, Hi guys, well, we're back in the big smoke. Just ran out of time. We had to get back. Uh, I drove back down the coast this afternoon and um, I did a bit more work off camera but the battery was flat and the charger and my booster was flat yeah we had to get back to Sydney for a couple of appointments but I've been thinking about that yellow thing couldn't get it started even though I put extra go juice in there it kicked a bit but it probably hasn't got good enough spark at the moment because I took a plug out and it was it's got fuel in it so I've been thinking over it and just finished a cup of tea and some mixed nuts. Those leads are 50 years old on that thing. It's got old wire leads on it. So I'll just test the voltage when we get back up there. I'll be up there on Friday or Saturday. Uh, so we'll get into it then and, and progress a bit further for it. So we might just uh, end this little video. It's a bit short. I was hoping to get it going, but we didn't. We ran out of time. Um, weather's been pretty bad down here. We've got this... El Nino and it rains constantly so it restricts you what you can do so I was going to actually think well that's a good garage weekend but it didn't work that way uh, wifey had other plans for me so we'll get back to it um, pretty soon we'll just try I've got to get that thing started it really is important so um, thank you very much give us the likes up and, and you haven't subscribed please subscribe it really helps me and we'll catch you on the next episode cheers guys